Hey everybody, Gabe Turner here from GabeTurner.com and I just wanted to share with you something. I um, See, a lot of people think that it's hard to come up with content for your blog or for whatever you're doing, your podcast or whatever and and I wanted to show, show you a story that, that kind of illustrates how easy it is and how there's information and quality stuff hiding in all parts of your life. So let me tell you about this time where I blew somebody's mind by a, with a simple Google search. Now, I have a friend, his name is John, he's like, I don't know, 55, 57 or something like that. And um, he's, an, he's an awesome guy, very intelligent guy. He's, he knows everything about engines and fixing cars and fixing old engines. And, and he's, he's a park ranger, so he's got all this knowledge about the forest and all this stuff that I don't know about. And he's just a wealth of knowledge, you know, he's a smart guy. Um, but he doesn't know much about the internet. And so I get roped into helping him sometimes, and that's fine. I mean, he's my friend, and I'm glad to help him. So I, I, uh, sent, I sat down with him once. I was trying to help him with his Facebook page um, because he really didn't understand it. And um, I, it turned out he, he said something about this old girlfriend of his, and um, he really wanted to find her. And he said he'd been trying, and I was like, well, okay, how, how, what have you been doing? And so I, he, he, he hadn't been doing much. And so I, I just got her name. I got the college they used to go to together, and I entered it in to Google. And within a minute, I had found her at this place where she works in another state. And he just blew his top. I mean, for the next two or three days, he was just beside himself. Like, he would come up to me and say, like he was just was like bubbling over with joy and like I just he was just like I can't thank you enough I can't thank you enough this is incredible oh blah 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 you know they they connected they talked and stuff I don't know whatever happened to it but oh my gosh I mean I didn't do anything really but I had this knowledge in my head I knew how to Google something and um, and it changed his world it changed his life. <laughs> And you know what? Sometimes there's things inside your head that you don't even know, you don't even appreciate the value of because it's just so commonplace to you. But you know, you can share it on a blog, you can share it in a video like this, and it can really be of help, use to someone out there on the online who's searching for it. And you have information that's valuable, whether you think you do or not. And so you need to help, you need to figure out how to mine your mind and get those little nuggets out. And a lot of times it's simpler than you think. Like, I mean, gosh, I would have never thought of writing about how to Google something. Um, <laughs> but maybe I should, you know? I, I haven't done that yet, but I made a video as a result of that conversation of an encounter I had with a guy that it, it's a good story. And it's a good story I can share now. I mean, gosh, how many times in our weeks uh, or our days do we have good stories like that that illustrate a point or teach something or are funny or whatever? You can use that stuff. And um, so that is, and, and see, hey, it doesn't even matter. There's another thing is it doesn't matter if other people are sharing that same information because there's millions of people online. And you know what? You share it from your voice, from your experience, and you know what? Other people are going to find you that aren't going to find those other people. So don't worry about that. Just share what you know and stuff will happen, man. You start putting quality content out there and, you know, in the beginning it won't be as good as in the, you know, you just have to keep going. You'll get, get practice and you'll get, get good at it. So you put it out there and stuff's going to happen. You're going to, you're going to attract an audience. You're going to attract people who, who like you and you'll, you'll develop relationships and friendships and all sorts of things. And you know what? You can make money doing it too. <laughs> and that's what I get excited. I mean, excited about it all. It, the whole big picture is awesome. And the icing on the cake is that, yeah, you do get to make money by sharing stuff that you care about, stuff that you know, knowledge that you have. I mean, golly, how many of us, and we've been at jobs for years and years, or we've we've got a hobby we've been doing for years and years. You know what? We've learned things through those hobbies and through those jobs and through our experiences. You've got a wealth of knowledge up there. How many books have you read? Maybe you've read tons of books on the Civil War, and you have stuff to share about that. You know, there's people out there who are Googling, what happened in this battle in the Civil War? 
dude, that's that's information that you can share about, and you can put your your own unique spin on it. You know, maybe you were a part of a reenactment or something. You can post some pictures and or whatever. You know, all sorts of stuff, and you will attract people that are like you, people that like the things that you like, and people that like your personality or whatever. And so, don't let that information that's sitting in your head just gathering dust and it's only giving value to you. I challenge you to get that information out, share it with the world, and really, we really have no excuse these days to share this our knowledge with the world. We really need to take it seriously. I mean, don't hide it, you know? And it's really something. You can actually kind of leave a legacy. I mean, golly, I mean, I'm writing stuff every day these days. I'm, I'm blogging every day, and I'm leaving stuff behind. My kids can read. My friends can read. When I get into a conversation with a friend about how to do internet marketing or how to make money with a blog or whatever, or all sorts of things, or what was it like when I was on a cruise ship, or what was it like when I used to play money on the streets with my sacks, and I can share that stuff with them. They can get to know me better. Um, and learn stuff or whatever and you know what they're gonna meet people and say hey my friend Gabe's got a blog you wanted to know about that well you should go read it on his blog you know you're creating a body of work and it's really going to be valuable with an I mean it doesn't have to take that long I mean I'm blogging every day I'm doing a challenge for 30 days 30 blogs that's a lot of stuff <laughs> and if I keep doing that for you know 60 90 days and I'm getting better at it I'm getting faster at it and it, yeah, I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a mass of stuff that's valuable up there, and I'm not just t blogging about random stuff. Sometimes it's really simple, like how to Google stuff. Sometimes it's a little more complex. Sometimes it's a little more thoughtful, but it's really fun. And I think more people could be doing this that think that they probably would never even think of doing that. So I just challenge you guys: don't let your information in your head go to waste. There's other people out there that want to hear it. So if you want to hear more about blogging and making money with your blog um, I, and sharing that information that's in your head and profiting from it even, go to the link below, check out my blog, see what's out there, and I've had a great time talking to you. <laughs> All right, have a good day. Bye.